point is Docs here playing Gods Will Be Watching. We're going to be going moving on to Chapter 2. In Chapter 1, we were holding some researchers hostage while we were trying to hack into their computer system to retrieve some of their research. And one of the hostages was killed in that process. And it looks like one of the fellows <coughs> um, escaped that had that data. So we'll see how it goes from here. Chapter 2, 20 Days of Empty Words. The Matriarch, Xena Liffer's mothership three days before the Space Lab data hijacking. Cool technology. This is Sergeant Burden communicating from within Xenolifer's Matriarch battleship. Requesting an encrypted Type 6 comm relay to the Everdust Company for the universe knowledge. Sounds pretty complicated. Insecure Channel 6. Sergeant, it's been three months since your last transmission. The mission protocol dictates that at least a report every two weeks. Wasn't my choice, sir. There's been a lot of activity in Xenolifera recently. Sergeant, our intel indicates that the Medusa virus has fallen into the hands of Xenolifera. What happened? It hasn't yet. Calm down. Liam is planning to assault one of the Holistic Empire's space labs. The plan is to steal their research data about the Medusa virus. That is unacceptable. That is unacceptable burden. That is an unacceptable burden. Xenolifer must not gain access to the Medusa virus. They've gone too far this time. Sergeant, these are your new orders. Eliminate Liam Ferongao and sabotage his plans. Sir, killing Xenolifer's leader isn't the solution. That course of action will blow up a three-year operation. Jack and I have worked hard to earn Liam's trust. Within a few months, we could achieve a peaceful end to the Xena Liffer organization. Have you lost your mind, Sergeant? We could never allow a terrorist organization access to a weapon of mass destruction. Xena Liffer aren't terrorists. They have ideals of revolution, but Liam isn't genocidal. I know him, sir. Keep talking like that, and we'll consider your, your loyalty compromised, Sergeant. Xenolifer is the enemy and must be neutralized by any means necessary. We need more time. Sergeant, listen to me. I'll take responsibility for whatever action Xenolifer carries out with the Medusa virus. Okay. If the time comes, my hand won't hesitate to put a bullet in Liam's head. But killing Farong Gao will only unleash a war which will cost Everdust resources and lives. Trust me, I had this under control. Signing out. Oh, wonderful. Shower time. Sorry, did I wake you? What's up? You look confused. Let us introduce ourselves. My name is Irving, and the big boy with a funny helmet is Alexander. Yeah, I wouldn't want to meet these people. This looks rather unpleasant. He doesn't speak much, but he is a good fellow. That is, unless you piss him off, but that ain't gonna happen, am I right? Cut the crap. What do you want? Relax. You don't want to push things here, trust me. My boss wants to know about you. The usual drill, age, sex, location. Oh, and also he wants to know what the fuck you were doing in our labs. So anyway, first question. Who are you? Alright. I'm going to lie. I'm not ready to lie yet. Well then, why give me the option? <laughs> Alright. Let's think about this. Hey, are you deaf? My name is Irving McAllister C. It's not that complicated, so... I'm gonna provoke. This guy's pissing me off. Come on, hit me, Blondie. Tell me your names. 
I'm gonna provoke him again. My grandchildren are going to love this story. <laughs> I want to know exactly who I'm dealing with. I'm gonna try to lie again. Maybe you have to be up to 100% for that. Yeah, of course. I'm gonna provoke again. And he's saying the same thing. Come on, be polite and tell me who you are. Eh, let's try begging. I don't know. Clicked everything besides beg. Maybe that'll get me 100%. Irving, you're close to killing me. Perhaps you aren't familiar with the concept of torture? Who are you? Ah, Alright, let me try Jack. Let's provoke. Come on, give it to me, baby. It's uh, a little uncomfortable. Alexander, stop! Look at what time it is. We'll miss the Holistic Baseball League. Gentlemen, you'll have to excuse us. I hope you enjoyed your first session. It's been nice serving. Thank you for your time. Ha. This is going to be fun. Good night, fellas. Gotta break out of here. Come on, come here, girl. Dogs are roughhousing. Wait. Fine, don't come over here. So you think we've been through the worst? So you think we've been through worse than this? We're alive, aren't we? For now, let's just focus on staying that way. Okay. Until when? I don't know, but as long as we're still breathing, we have a chance. Don't do or say anything stupid. We have to choose our words wisely. I don't care about giving up information about Xenolifer. But as soon as the lunatic knows everything he wants, we're dead. Yep, sounds like a solid plan. Shut up and get some rest. The worst is yet to come. I could get out of those chairs. Man, I had the weirdest dream last night. Get this, everything was black and white. Everything but the orange light of my cigarette. Oh, and I wasn't blonde. Kind of lame. I was wearing a heavy metal t-shirt and had long hair. I lived in a world made of concrete and got to see people with black bags over their heads every day. The best part is that Alexander didn't exist. No offense. And I tortured every single one of those poor black bag heads. Damn, it was fun. Alright. But then one day, the strange hobo with a green-eyed gas mask showed up and said... Your world was made in less than 72 hours. Hey, snap out of it and start hitting us, please. Yeah, shut up. Man, how rude. My name is Irving McAllister, see? It's not that complicated, so... So let's try to lie again. Hey, that's not good. Can I lie now? All right. I am Abraham Burden. My partner is Jack Mazel. We are ex-soldiers from the Constellar Federation. Interesting. So you are Abraham Burden and Jack Mazel, old dogs from the Constellar Federation. Thanks for repeating everything I just said. To me. But there are still things that bug me. How did you manage to enter our space lab? Let's think about it. Is there some kind of secret entrance to our space lab that I'm not aware of? Alright, I'm lying this time. We got 100% now. Our hacker guy... Our hacker guy? <laughs> our hacker guy obliterated the system controlling your emergency exit in a matter of minutes. You should work on that. It makes sense, doesn't it? I don't know. Next question. What were you looking for at our lab? Let's let Jack think about it. Alexander, it's time for our secret weapon. Bring me the red blade crabs. 
No. Wait. We had them for dinner yesterday. Shit. Sorry, bus killer. See you tomorrow. Why are all the torturers this psycho? <laughs> I think if you're a torturer, you're psycho to default. I don't think the empathy is a valued virtue for this line of work. Whoa, ninja dude. Liam. Sorry I'm so late. You didn't think Xenolifer would let you down. Not did you? Thanks to the gods. Get us out of here. I'm sorry, but that's not a good idea. What? No shit. We are in a we are in a prison located on one of the wonder moons of the Holistic Empire. This giant rock is too heavily guarded for a prison break. It's a miracle I got this far. I don't think we can make it together. Hell, even I don't know if I can make it out make it back alone. Well then grab a chair and take a seat. What's the plan? I know you have one, Liam. Yeah, you're correct. I may be a, I may be a suicidal hero, but I'm not a suicidal idiot. Xenolifer is preparing a rescue operation. It isn't going to be easy, but nothing was, withstands a clever plan. Right. What do you? Excuse me. Right. What do you need us to do? I need you to endure 20 more days of torture. Oh gosh. <laughs> what? You know, clever plans usually aren't the quickest. But that's why I'm here, to help you in that matter. I already located a nursery above this floor. I can sneak in and steal medication for you. Medicine can restore your health so you can endure longer. Painkillers will allow you to resist more pain so that bastard torture methods won't be as effective. But you won't recover as fast as usual from your injuries. Or if you prefer, I can gather information to help you deal with your torturers. It's easier to lie if you know what your captor is interested in. You're a smart man, Abraham. You can survive this and more. Hooray. What should I bring you tomorrow? I want information. Gotcha. Hopefully I don't have to actually endure 20 days of this. Life at the Holistic Empire has its ups and downs, but I wouldn't char change it for anything. You know why? Human rights. The Holistic Empire doesn't give a shit about fucking human rights. I'm really into gambling games myself. Are you familiar with the old gunpowder weapons? Well, this is a seven-barreled Lucky Revolver. It's been in my family for centuries. Old fellows from Earth had a game called Russian Roulette. I don't know what Russian means. Must be the guy who invented it doesn't matter. What does matter is what happens when I slide one bullet inside the barrel, point this baby at your face, and ask you a question. If I like what you're saying, I won't pull the trigger. Either way, you'll be in the hands of Lady Luck. Are you ready? For one out of seven chances of boom, what did you steal from our database? Provoking them. Come on, weakling, unleash the fun. For one out of six chances of boom, why are you interested in our research? Let's think about it. Hey, are you deaf? For one out of five chances of boom, you should respect the privacy of others. What do you want from us? Let's lie. We wanted to steal all the intel we could from the Holistic Empire. Information is power. That makes sense, doesn't it? I don't know. Next question. For one out of five chances of boom, who do you work for? Let's beg. Don't rush it. We have all the time in the world. Perhaps you aren't familiar with the concept of torture. And end of the day. Congratulations, you survived another day. You won't give a surprise? Of course, what do you want? The torture wall or the axe? Forget it.
You know, I miss Everdust Headquarters. Don't even mention that name while we are in here. Remember, whatever happens, never, never confess our true identities. I know, I know. Cut me some slack, man. How are you holding up? Well, we're alive, but we need a vacation after this. Sure, you can take a free day. Uh, that's generous. Xenolifer's motto, freedom for all intelligent beings. Fuck my employees. You should have read the fine print. All right, what do we want him to bring? I think we should get some healing. Gotcha. Okay, I got you some useful intel. They seem to be pretty paranoid about rebels and resistance, resistance initiatives. Took you a day to get that. Oh, wonderful. Did you know that Alexander loves hamsters? Oh gosh. How sweet. He has an entire collection of legless, eyeless, toothless, hairless, brainless hamsters. Not all at the same time. Not all at the same time, I mean. Each one is customized with delicacy. Actually, I kind of introduced him to the hobby. I remember as a kid, a hamster was one of the best gifts no one ever gave me. It really brought, really brought out my passion for torturing at an early age. I'll never forget Harry Mr. Dimitri. What a lovely set of screams he had. Alright, come on guys. I'm tired of this. And you, when are you going to scream? This isn't going to be easy, Irving. I think we have the strength of at least 10,000 hamsters. Tell me about your organization. Uh, let's go ahead and provoke. How many hours did you spend at the gym? Yeah, that glove can be a pain in the ass. Not many people dare to, to challenge the Holistic Empire, so where are you idiots from? Provoking again. Come on, give it to me, baby. You should be proud of your actions. Just recover the little pride you have left and tell me your faction's name. I guess it won't let me select Abraham. Let's think about it. Hey, are you deaf? Yeah, that glove can be a pain in the ass. Come on, at least tell me the name of your pseudo terrorist cell. Let's lie. We are just people oppressed by the Holistic Empire. We are the resistance and will overthrow your empire. It makes sense, doesn't it? I don't know. Next question. Where are your headquarters? Eh, let's try the confess route. You won't find us. Our base is located on a, on a gigantic spaceship that is in constant movement. Interesting. So, you're Abraham Burden and Jack Maslow, old dogs from the Consular Federation. You live on board a spaceship, always on the run. That's how cowards roll, I guess. But there are still things that bug me. Damn, I have to take a shit. Alexander, I told you we shouldn't have attended that jalapeno party. See you tomorrow, amigos. You know what they say, eat fire, shit tears. I'm afraid of the wall. Is that some kind of metaphor? No oh man, the fucking wall with chains in front of me. It's hard spending all night looking at that shit and imagining myself hanging on it. I'm more afraid of the axe. I found the library. Do you want me to get something... To, <coughs> excuse me. Do you want me to get you something to read? Oh yes. Fuck meds, let's fight them with culture. Okay, I see you're not in the mood for humor. What should I bring you tomorrow? And we're gonna go with painkillers. Gotcha. The medicine will mend your flesh, you should feel better. Take 
He sprayed deodorant. If you survive this, beards will be on me for the next month. Well, what do you do? I had planned on dying, but that's good motivation indeed. Okay. Boy and his dog here playing Gods Will Be Watching. We're still in chapter 2 in the middle of being tortured. Probably on day 4, I would say. Sorry guys, but this is when we get serious. If you don't tell me what I want, I'm going to cut your friend's arm off. It's as simple as that. Who is your boss? And provoke. What's wrong? Are you are you done talking? Tell me everything about your leader. Please stop or I'll die. Perhaps you aren't familiar with the concept of torture. It's oh, pretty disgusting. Are you sure your shitty terrorist secrets are worth an arm? I'll let you rest, but you better start preparing a good confession for tomorrow. Because tomorrow I'm going to be working on your eyes. Okay. Are you alright, Burden? Don't worry about me, save your strength. How do you always stay so cool? It's like you were born to survive. How's this guy even talking after getting his arm chopped off? Are you trying to mend my wounds with sweet talk, Jack? I'm not the only one who's got this far. Consi consider yourself a true survivor too, Corporal. Ha, now that's good, pep talk. Shut up and rest. Sorry for the delay, are you okay? As long as you don't as long as you don't get caught, we might stand a chance. Won't have any arms, but Nice, they won't catch me, I promise. What should I bring you tomorrow? Let's get some healing kit action. Whoa. We found Sergeant Burden. Positive ID and Corporal Jack Mazal. There's a third unidentified subject. What should we do? Leave him. Your top priority is to get the sergeant out of there. Understood. Moving back to ECUK headquarters. I'm not going to try to pronounce that acronym. Sergeant Burden? Help me! Don't leave me! <laughs> Alright, so that's the end of chapter 2. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you at chapter 3. And if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks.